Hi everyone, I'm Chanel from Stamping Stilettos and I'm here today with a quick case card class. Uh, this has been pinned, sorry, cased from Pinterest and it was put on there by Lynn Taig and I just loving, I'm just loving the lemon lime twist with the black and of course beautiful you. She's been very popular. Now there is a few little bits to this card so please bear with me if I um, forget anything then just uh, just hang in there because I prepped this card last night was going to put it on last night and then somebody turned up and so uh, I didn't get it done so I lost my flow of things but I'm sure I've got it all here but if I forget something or it takes a little bit longer then I am very sorry so let me tell you what you're going to need for this card now i am using some retired dsp um but you know uh this is just to give you an idea and maybe you could find something else that would work with it now we're using the beautiful you stamp set and that is just love it love it love it love it a fantastic stamp set and we are using um as far as dies um lots of labels framelit dies you will need the second and third one up for that and then we're using layering square framelit dies which you will need um, the square one that will fit around her and then the scalloped one up so they're the dies now as far as cardstock we are using lemon lime twist eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter so let's do that now you will need a piece of whisper white which is four and one eighths by five and three eighths for the inside of the card we'll stick that in a bit and then you will need um basic black which is four and one eighths by three and a half and then dsp which is four by three and three eighths you will need a scrap piece of lemon lime twist a scrap piece of basic black and some scrap whisper white so let's go ahead and do our stamping first because there really isn't that much stamping to do on this card we're using basic black and we're using the dancing lady which is she is just fantastic okay we're just going to pop her down there and then we are going to take the other scrap piece of course you can do it all in one if you like now this is a bit more complicated this bit um for the live laugh love we're just wanting the live laugh love so the best way that I found of actually doing this was I stamped on um, a post-it note. Um, oh, you can't really see. But I stamped the Live, Laugh, Love on a, a post-it note. And on the sticky part of it, I actually cut it out so that it would go around the bit that we don't want. Okay. And then, she says... What I did then, now did I do it upside down or the other way around? No. So I covered that over and then I basically stamped like that. So I hope you got that. So we put that over and then just put the stamp pad on top and then it's only inked the bit that we want and we hope and pray that we've done it enough. Oh, look, I made that look easy. Oh, I'm so chuffed with myself. Oh my gosh, I thought on camera it was bound to go wrong. So really, that is quite easy. Um, so you stamp down on the post-it note and the sticky part, then you just use it to cover that. And instead of taking that to the stamp pad, actually what I did was laid it, laid it on top like that and got your stamp pad and padded it down. And then you should get the coverage that you need. So I actually made that look very easy. That was fantastic. Now what we're gonna do um, with our lemon lime twist pad, give it a squeeze. Oops. 
and she didn't squeeze it enough and using your aqua marker what we're going to do is just come in and co cover cover color her dress and her hat gorgeous color this is always reminds me of those sweets they were chocolate limes oh my gosh i used to love those let's clean my aqua marker off and that is done and then what we need to do um we'll take our uh, framelit dies and we're going to cut her out and then what you need to do with the scalloped um, square, you need to cut one in the lime and one in the black. And then also with the lemon lime twist, you will need to cut out um, the larger of the two in the lemon lime twist. And then we need to go away and cut out um, the live, laugh, love. So I'm going to go over to the big shot and go and do them and I will be straight back right okay so I've been and cut out the lady uh, two of these one of these and I cut out the um, on the whisper white but I have actually gone and cut that down already now what I did just to so I've cut that down and then I'm gonna stick this down um, I probably do it a very strange way to everyone else, but I just did that, cut it down to the size I wanted. Then I bring my scissors in, and that's wonky. Like that, and then just cut that down, because I found if I glued it on first and then cut it, it might make my blades a bit um, sticky. So that's how I did that. Now, with these, as you can see here, um, it's it's just over half black, and then the rest in lemon lime twist. So what I did was I counted up one, two, three, four, five, six. So on both of these, um, I just went and cut one, two, three, four, five, six, um, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to bring in my cutting board and all I'm going to do is just on the sixth curve so one two three four five six I'm going to line that up one two three four five with my thing there and we're just going to whiz that off and I'm going to do exactly the same with the black so one two three oops one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're just going to line that up and do exactly the same. And then you keep the larger bit of the black and the smaller bit of the lemon lime twist. So that is all there is to that. And then I took, did the back of the um, stamped image and just... that down and what I did just to get it straight to start with was put the black on first then turned it over and then lined up the lemon lime twist on the back here and whoopsie that's not right is it how did we manage that one oh that's a bit odd that's right there you go don't know what I did there. I've moved it too far down. There you go. Push that down. Make sure that you've lined that up correctly. I've got a little bit of a gap, but let's see if we can push that up. And then all I did was took some dimensionals, if I can find them, they're hiding, and we're just going to pop these on the back. like 
like so and then we're going to glue this down on this basic black like that and then I have some um, stitch satin ribbon I'm just going to get a length of this ribbon here oh dear made a mess of that right so we're just going to tie a knot in this and then pull that tight I don't think I've pulled this enough here looks a bit wonky push that down and know what's happened here we've twisted it somehow but I think I can correct that there you go that's better I don't know what happened there and um, we're just going to cut and like that and then we're going to glue this down that has got a twist in the back there and I really don't know how I've done that Let's see if I can figure this out I don't know what I've done that's it right there you go that'll do and then what we're going to do is put some Tombow on the back of this and put a little bit under that put some in there make sure we cover it nicely and then we're going to pop this down on the front here just hold it for a moment and on here I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals and I'm putting these on the edge here and I'll show you why in a minute because I don't really want them going down the centre of that piece because I'm going to kind of position it over the ribbon so you'll see what I mean in a minute so we're just going to position that um, kind of there there you go and it kind of holds your ribbon down like that and then where did I put our main piece And that goes just there and then all that's left is to put some Tombow on this last piece here and pop that down and there you have it and guess what I didn't forget anything I did forget a thing. So chuffed with myself. I'm getting better at this. <laughs> and you took me like, I think this is kite case card class number 81, I think. <laughs> um, there you go. And that is today's case card class. Um, super, super lovely. Gorgeous colours. Just fantastic. Hope you've enjoyed this case card class. And I may be back later with some super fast, super fast case card classes. I know these are quick case card classes, but we also have the super fast. So watch this space. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I shall see you later. Take care. Bye bye.